What's going on guys? Today we're reviewing the favorite phantom spinning rod. I've had this rod for about a year now and it's performed pretty nicely. Um, I've put this thing through everything. I've caught in everything from toe tog, bluefish, fluke, stripers, largemouths, smallmouth bass. Um, this thing is, it, it can do anything. It's pretty much, it's a beast. This rod is a medium power, fast action, seven foot spinning rod. Honestly, in my opinion, I think this rod's more of a medium heavy. It's rated up to three eighths ounce, um, but I've thrown um, one ounce epoxy jigs on this thing for big bluefish. Um, I use 14 pound line on this thing. Um, it's just, I don't think it's a medium. It's not a true medium. This rod I use in freshwater for heavier stuff, like heavier shaky heads. Um, actually, it's a pretty good Senko rod, not gonna lie. But in saltwater, I use this for casting SP minnows on sedges. Um, I use this for fluke. I used it on Saturday for totog, and I used this yesterday for bass. This rod comes in at around 150 bucks. This rod, the sensitivity's there, but this rod is not as sensitive as the, I think it's the $140 Mojo Inshore. I received that um, this past Christmas. That rod's so far is awesome. I love it. But this rod, honestly, if I was then if I was in the uh, market for a hundred fifty dollar rod, I would probably would not get this. If you're looking for a kind of a lighter, if you're looking for a medium uh, power spinning rod, look somewhere else. In my opinion, just because I don't think it's a true medium. Compared to the Mojo Inshore, this thing, it's. I mean, this thing has a nice finish. It's pretty heavy. Balance is about right there. Um, the weight, uh, I'd guess around four ounces. My Mojo Inshore is 4.5, if I'm correct. The balance on this rod, I like I just said, is right here. I use a, I think it's a 9.6 ounce reel on here. The balance point is, with that reel is about right here. This rod, this rod is has great balance with a heavier reel. If you're putting something on this rod, like a, a Daiwa Tatula or like something like that, something really light, balance is probably gonna be somewhere up here. It's just, it's gonna feel a little top heavy. Um, when it comes to actually fishing this rod on the water salt water when i'm fishing bottom for toe tog with a one ounce bottom sweeper jig this thing is great i love it for bottom fishing but when i'm casting uh towards the sedge with an sp minnow for stripers this rod is great for that it has great distance it, um i can feel everything i can feel everything on the bottom i can feel bite that's why I love love. That's what I love about this rod. For fresh water, this rod, I used it yesterday at a pond and in the creek. Um, in the creek, it's it's alright. I mean, it's, I think it's just a little heavy. If you're fishing a creek, I'd go with something like uh, lighter power. But if you're fishing a pond, you're throwing a heavier shaky head. Um, I like this for senkos. You're throwing a Senko, um, even if you're from a boat, like fishing from a boat, heavier drop shots on this rod, I think it would be pretty, pretty good. Um, if you're in the market for a hundred fifty dollar rod, fresh water, salt water, whatever. Honestly, I don't think I would get this rod. I think there's better options than this, but it's honestly whatever you want. I'm not really supporting favorite anymore just because of what happened with chris's rig series he 
he's broken multiple. He had two white birds that broke. Uh, John has a balance rod, which is actually pretty. It's it's good so far, but this rod, it's as of right now, it's it's still holding up. Um, I'll probably get something to replace this rod eventually, but we'll see. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and catch you next time.